guys well it is 24 hours later and I am back up in this little honey hole right here where the snook were just getting all over the top water got out here a little earlier this morning yesterday I was fishing this area right here when the Sun was already up over the horizon this morning I'm, I'm here a little bit earlier not feeding here this morning yesterday they were they were feeding all along the seawall yesterday they're up there they're up there this there's, there's minnows they're just a little bit further up today crazy up there so you guys I brought a uh, a little I got a live target pinfish here that I actually wanted a fishing seminar I thought I'd bring this thing in Try and buzz it through there. There he is. Look at that. First cast. Oh, I lost him. First cast with a live target pinfish. First cast. I got hooked up. Way cool, man. There he is. There he is. Got him hooked good that time. I'm on the live target pinfish, man. Yeah, baby. Here we go. All right. Looking for a little pinfish for breakfast, huh? Huh, buddy? Nice little sunrise snook on the live target pinfish. Good deal. Thanks for the catch, man. See ya. Live target pinfish. I had about six hits right there and uh, caught a snook. Nice, man. Nice. <laughs> Packing on out of here with the top water 120. PDL Kai. Hit it in reverse, baby. Hit it reverse. All right. I'm going to, uh, see how well this thing will skip underneath these docks. Yeah, this, uh, pinfish lure skips like a stone, man. That thing will just, it hits the water when you do a, a sidearm cast, and that thing just boom, 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 just skips one, two, three, four. The tail, the tail is about the only thing that that moves on this lure. Like the lure just runs straight, but the tail goes like that. Something feeding right there in the corner. Something little feeding right there in the corner. There he is. Oh, he ain't so little. He ain't so little. Getting on the live target. Pinfish. He ain't so little. I'm like something little up there. <laughs> little man. <laughs> All right. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, baby. Got us a nice snook. Another snook. Got one on the live target. Yeah. Good deal. Thanks, buddy. Little retine here. Little retine. All right. We st I still hear them up there. Hey. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get them, little pinfish. I honestly, I didn't think I was going to get one up in there because the tide on the other side of this dock is moving really good. But in here, it's kind of slack. But apparently, there was some bait up there and snook hanging out right in there. What a surprise catch. I, I, I just was not expecting that fish at all right there. Not at all. See if we can pull another one out of there. So guys, I'm just, I'm twitching this thing just like crazy and just pause it every now and then. It just twitching it, twitching it. Oh, there's a hit right there. Just had another hit. Pop that thing good. Yeah, they're 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 up there in the corner. There's a there's bait up in that corner. Pushed up in there. Oh, he followed it right there. He freaking followed it. We we got some fish up here, man. There he is. Oh, I lost him. 
I lost him. Oh, 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 I knew he was up there. Whew. I tell you what, you guys, when when they they hit this live target pinfish, they hit this thing with a vengeance, boy. I mean, there ain't no doubt you got a hit. They are slamming this thing. Oh, look at him chasing the bait up there. Look at him. There he is. There he is. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice fish, man. Nice. All right. Whoo. Thanks for the catch, man. See ya. Yes. All right, guys. Got to do another uh, quick retie. Big ball of bait, man. Big ball of bait up there, and they are just getting all over it. You guys, this morning I'm fishing with my Pen Pursuit 4000. I got 15 pound test braid and I've got my Ugly Stick Inshore Select 7 foot 6 medium heavy rod that I'm fishing with. And uh, yeah, love this combination. Excellent for this type of fishing. Alright, here we go. How many, how many fish can I pull out of that corner? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh no, I lost him. Dang it. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <sighs> Got us another one on the live target pinfish. Oh, he got off. <laughs> Perfect cast right there. The perfect cast. There it is. There it is. Oh, he hit it on the fall. He hit it on the fall. Good fish. Fish. Oh. <laughs> nice other, another little snooky there. See you, buddy. Give that bait a moment to regroup. See what we got in the bag here. Oh yeah, we got us some barbecued pork rinds. These things right here, hickory smoke flavor from the Dollar Tree, deliciousness. Probably scaring the snook away. He's right up there in the corner where the fish are hanging out. Darn it. <laughs> I hope a good thing just didn't get ruined. Put a fishing pole in your pocket next time you come over here. Oh yes. Right right in that corner. I've been catching snook in that corner, one right after the other. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of snook and no, there's I, bait bait right there and uh, okay, yeah. I've caught about six right there in that oh, corner. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's good. Get your little po pocket little little pocket fishing pole. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wanna see if we got something laying up here around this little this little dry dock skiff looking thing. If I can get it back in there. If I can cast this lure, skip it between the seawall and the boat underneath there, I think I might have a good chance pulling the fish out of there. You're laying up, up underneath that shade. Oh, yeah. Nice skip, JC. Nice. There he is. Look at that. I called it. I called it. I said I needed to get it under there. There he is. 
<laughs> little bitty guy getting all over the live target pinfish. Little bitty snooker. All right, little guy. Got you a mouthful of pinfish, huh? Yeah, nice. All right, buddy, see ya. Nice. That, that ball of bait that was on the other side of the dock is right here. I was catching snook right in that corner. So let me see if I can spin around here. Maybe these fish are laying right in here now. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, he hit that thing deep, man. Deep. He was way down there. I don't know which way to go. This could be a good fish. He hasn't really taken off yet. I knew that something would be laying in there. We found something. Oh! Darn it! <laughs> All right guys, let's talk about this live target pinfish lure. I have some things I like about it and I do have some things that I don't really care about it, but my overall, I really like this lure. I'm gonna keep one of these in my tackle box, definitely. All right, I'm looking online. The price point for this thing is like anywhere from like nine to $13 from what I've seen. Um, it looks like it's about three inches long. Now I mentioned in the video when I was doing a straight retrieve, Really, the only thing that was moving on this thing was the tail, it was just vibrating back and forth. Um, I was working this lure, I was just twitching it like crazy because I've fished a lot of live pinfish and I have learned that snook, they like these things looking really erratic when they're live. When those pinfish run, brrr, I always say like machine guns, that's when snook will nail them. So I was trying to work this thing, just really twitching my, my rod tips super, super fast, little short twitches and it was working. Every now and then I'd let this thing fall and drop. And let me share some things that I like about this lure and some things that, um, uh, maybe some negatives about the lure, but here again, my overall consensus is I really do like this lure. Um, it, it's got the dorsal fin weed guard. That is a wonderful thing. The single hook, obviously that's better on the fish. It's easier on the fisherman to be able to get the hook out of the fish. And uh, I like the weight of this bait, okay? Um, it, it sinks fast. Like one of the things I don't care for with the Miradine lure, which you know, the Miradines are about the same size. I don't care for them so much because they just, they don't sink fast. They're just like, I don't know. And, and so this lure, because it sinks fast, I can, I can work this lure faster or I can choose to work it slow. Either way, the Miradine lure, I feel like I'm pretty much forced to just work that thing really slow because it doesn't sink very fast. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a little comparison there, but my buddy of mine, my buddy Otis, he swears by those Miratines. So maybe one day he'll show me how to actually catch fish on those things. So, all right. So, um, other things that I like about this, this lure skips really, really well. It skips underneath. It'll skip three, four, five, six, seven, eight times on the water because it's flat, you know? Um, that's awesome. You, you sidearm cast that thing, line drive it underneath docks and mangroves and that thing will skip. It's awesome for doing that. One of the things that I don't care for about this lure is when you cast it overhead that way, there's just something about the way this thing is designed. When the wind catches it, it has a tendency to waffle and it's not very accurate. So I would say the accuracy on this lure is probably about 75%. You know, when I was casting in a certain area um, because of its shape, if it wasn't going just like that, I anyway. 20, I'd say 75% of the time I was getting accurate casts with this lure. I actually got frustrated a few times because I, every time I, I was kept trying to get it up along the seawall and, and it would go straight and then it would waffle off to the left and it would land like four feet away from the seawall. So that's one of the negatives about this lure. Another negative about this lure, and it just comes with fishing soft plastics, is you've got this issue right here. It's starting to tear away from the hook. Now you guys know I did a spool tech review. I was really upset that I had purchased a $20 lure and the tail got ripped off of the lure and then I didn't have an extra tail with the lure and I just felt like 20 bucks gone, you know? Um, but that was a, a, I'll put a link up here to that video. You guys can check that out. But apparently, you know, this just comes with the territory. Now I caught a lot of snook on this lure. So, you know, complaining about it's really, 
look, I'm gonna keep one of these in my tackle box. It is an excellent, excellent lure, and this just comes with the territory of soft plastics, okay? Now I have Yozuri lures that are hard plastic lures. I've got a Yozuri lure that I've caught probably close to 100 snook on, okay? Um, so, you know, what did I catch? I caught like maybe six or seven snook on this, and uh, it's tearing apart. The price point, again, I think it was like nine to $13 I saw online, and I also have to consider what it costs to purchase live bait. You know, if I was buying live pinfish, live pinfish are about a dollar a piece. If I was buying shrimp, it's they're about four dollars, five dollars a dozen for decent sized shrimp. And I can burn through live bait in a couple of hours, you know, fifteen, twenty dollars gone. So if I have a lure like this and I can fish this lure for three hours, have a lot of hits and catch a lot of fish and I get a little tear in it, you know what? Thumbs up. For this lure um, it's gonna work great for me you guys I had a bunch of hits on this lure that I didn't put in the video because I had enough footage to put in the video of actually catching snook where I didn't have to add in a lot of those other additional fish hits you know but I'm gonna say I probably had 10 to 12 hits on this lure um, outside of the fish that I caught on it so big thumbs up you guys for the live target pin fish lure. I'll definitely keep one of these in my tackle box. Um, all right. Well, thumbs up or appreciated. Everybody click that bell icon when you, when you subscribe. You got to click that bell icon, you guys, and set your notifications. Thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!